Yeah. And one thing I will say is that I, I mean, okay, the first year there were times where I was like, okay, I might wanna drink, I might wanna drink there. But now it's amazing how I just don't even need it. And the last few years I was drinking, it was just this crutch. It was just like, oh, I guess I'll have a glass. I guess I'll have a glass, I'll have a glass, but I don't really need it. So this is a really important point. Can I, I wanna, I love what you've just said. And the message that I'm trying to get out is absolutely on that point. You were not thinking about drinking. You were just drinking. And my message is think about drink. Every drink you take should be thought about in the same way as I hope if you were going to take another drug, you think about that. You wouldn't take it without thinking why, what dose, what the ex expectation is, will you be safe? Right. And think about that for each drink. Think about that for each yeah. drink. And then I would also finally say, you know, there's so many ways you can change your state as a human, whether it means meditation or training or watching a video or laughing out loud or whatever it is that that it's, for me, I always thought drink was my only option and it's just, it's not now. Yeah, the thing about drink is it's, it's, <laughs> it's very accessible. Yes. And it's very, it's almost immediate. And this is one of the reasons I think we've got to change our social attitudes or uh, approach to drink in terms of availability. It is far too easy. You know, you shouldn't be able to get 24 seven booze because, you know, if you've made a decision not to drink that evening and then you, you begin to waver, well, you can go and get it. Whereas we well, can order it, but get a bloody phone. But if you couldn't, and that's why I quite like the Swedish model, the Swedish, the Swedes have a, a basically, and some American states do too. They have controlled access to alcohol. The state basically runs the shops, and they determine determine the time you can go and get it. Yeah. And if you basically, if you if you if it's closed, the shop closes at six. You can't go and buy lots of booze. You've got to go to a bar. Now you can go to a bar, but at least there, you've got there's people to talk to. So you're getting some reinforcements. It's, you're not just it's not just the drink you're relying on to numb you. You're getting some interchange. And if you're really drunk, someone can say no. Whereas the scariest thing of all, I, I had a I had a patient once, uh, a young he was in his thirties, and he was dying. He, he had he was thirty. He had neuropathy, alcoholic neuropathy, and uh, and he came to me because he had extraordinary levels of attention deficit and also anxiety. And we were talked, and, I, and, I, and I, I discovered that he was a drinker. I didn't realize he was. He came to me for, for psychiatric doses, not because he was a diagnosis, not because he was a drinker. And I discovered what he was doing. What he would do was this. He'd get up in the morning, and he had about 10 or 11, and he, I, he said I would, um, I'd get a taxi to the local supermarket, I'd buy two liters of strong cheap cider for two quid, Get a taxi home because he was too scared to be agoraphobic. He was scared. and then I'll just sit in front of the TV all day and drink this, and, and that was it. That was all he did day in, day out. And, he, and you know, he was already destroying his um, his nerves with it, and you know, he's going to be dead in five, ten years. And uh, you know, what a <laughs> if he well, at the very least, if he couldn't buy all that, if that cider was twice or three times. It's one of the paradoxes here, by the way, just in Britain, we have this special privilege for cider. You can, you can buy eight, but the tax on 8% cider is a third the tax on 10% wine. Mm. So if you want to get drunk, cheap cider is the way to drink. And that's completely wrong. We, have, you know, we should try to constrain. But there used to be a time when people understood that alcohol was a drug, like a, and you had to go to a licensed premises to get the drug. You know, like, you, you know, you go to, Pharmacies to get that those drugs, and then the opening it up to supermarkets basically took away any kind of regulation or control, and we should try to bring that back. Mm -hmm.